Hello, and welcome to Max and Nick's Two Minute Tips for Printer Series. Wait, what's going on here? Why are we not in color? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I actually left the black and white mode on. No problem. <laughs> nope, watch this. Uh, well, there you go. You guessed it. We'll be talking about black and white printing mode today using Canon's plugin Print Studio Pro. Let's get started. Okay, Nick, I have this image that I think would look really great as a black and white. Are there any tools or settings you can show me to make this happen? Sure, Max. Let's take a look at your image. Wow, this is a great image. I think it would make an excellent black and white print. I would recommend printing this off our Pro 1000, which has four monochromatic ink tanks. These tanks will help you achieve excellent detail in your shadowed and highlighted areas as well. Great. In getting started, we want to open up Print Studio Pro with Photoshop. This plugin will also work with Lightroom and Digital Photo Professional. First, we go to File, Automate, Print Studio Pro. Then, let's go down to the lower right hand side to Color Mode and change this to Black and White Photo, which puts us in our Black and White Mode adjustments. Okay, so by doing that, you turn the image black and white. Is that the only option? Actually, no. If you take a look in your Corrections tab over here, there'll be a variety of options that just changed. Oh, cool. Okay, can you dive into this a little bit more and tell us about each tab? Definitely. So let's take a look at some of the options. One is the brightness, contrast, and you can even adjust your highlight and shadow detail. Wow, the image is looking better already. What is this color in the middle here? I thought we were in black and white mode. That's a good question. Well, it allows you to add a tone to the overall image. You can go warmer, cooler, greener, and more. Oh, that's cool. So you can give a black and white image a little more character. Exactly. You can shift all different ways, and this will help give your image a little bit more punchiness and even give you a vintage look if that's what you're going for. What about this? Well, these two drop downs here are pre made warm and cool tones, as well as being able to control the strength of contrast that's applied to your image. Okay, I think I'm going to choose that. Perfect. The last adjustment I want to review is the curve adjustment tool built into Print Studio Pro. We can adjust them right here, you can upload your own, and we can even save the one we made here today. We know that a lot of these settings we can adjust in Photoshop, Lightroom, and Digital Photo Professional, but this is a great last minute option to see what your image could potentially look like in a black and white print. Very cool. Thanks again, Nick, for guiding us through this. And be sure to follow Canon on Twitter at CanonUSA Pro and find us on Facebook at Canon USA. And of course, check back for more Max and Nick tips.